If you've clicked on this video, then you're probably interested in Donors Choose. Now, what is Donors Choose? Donors Choose is a place where donors or teachers can go and basically request classroom supplies. This is the main page that you go to, and um, you can go ahead and create an account. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you what the account looks like once you have made one. So once you log in and you have your own account, you will get to this page. So this is where you create a new project. Now, I know that a lot of teachers at my school have heard of Donor Choose, and even a few people have actually created accounts, but they haven't gotten around to creating a project. I have to be honest with you, it's a little scary to write your first grant because it seems like a lot of work, but it's really not. As you can see, over the last month, these are how many projects I've gotten funded in a month. So, as you can see, you can get a lot of donations from Donors Choose. Um, I can go to my page. So this is my teacher page. Um, people can choose to add you to their favorites if they want to donate to you more than once. Here is my welcome message and this will go over what projects you're requesting. Currently I'm not requesting any projects. It will also go to completed projects. So the top ones are my most recent ones. And let me show you one. So as you can see I've had 25 projects um, funded since I started on Donors Choose a few years ago. Basically what happens is you write a grant and after that you wait for it to get funded and then once it's funded you have to write a thank you letter. There's actually, you write a thank you letter once you get, so right here, once you get it funded you write a thank you letter and then you take pictures of your students using the um, supplies and then you have students write their own thank you letters and then you write another thank you letter. So just an example of some things that I've gotten for my classroom. I'll go ahead and show all of my projects. I've gotten lots of books for read-alouds. I've gotten some puzzles. I got a classroom carpet, which I was very thankful to get. Um, I got a laptop computer. I got, I've received an iPad, um, centers for reading, math, and writing. I've gotten Scholastic News, um, composition notebooks, copy paper, a digital camera, art supplies, um, chair organizers because I have tables and not desks and with second graders it's really hard to have that without it and just a lot of um, chart paper, a flip camera. So as you can see there's lots and lots of things that you can receive from Donors Choose. So now that I've shown you that, I want to show you something that's really important. If you go all the way to the bottom of the page, on any page on Donors Choose, and you go under the teachers, you can go to the Get, it Star Get Started, um, and it'll kind of tell you a little bit do about Donors Choose, but I always check the partner funding opportunities, and you click on your state, and you see if there's any funding opportunities um, in your area. So now that we've gone over that, I want to show you how to create your first project. So you have points when you use Donors Choose. I'm thinking you start off with like four or something like that, and every time you write a thank you package or send your letters or your pictures, you get more points. And every time you create a project, you use points. So we're going to go ahead and get started. You can use um, your points to shop through eSchool Mail and it kind of just breaks it down here if your materials are between a hundred and four hundred dollars it costs one point four hundred one to eight hundred dollars it costs two points more than eight hundred one dollars costs four points you can also go outside of the 
vendors that they have, but it'll cost you six points. So for example, for my iPad, I went through apple.com, but I had to pay six points. You may want to start with smaller projects um, before jumping into the six points, because once your points are gone, the only way to get more points is to write thank you packages. And if you don't get anything funded, you will not be able to write thank you packages to add more points. Um, so most of mine, I go through eSchool Mail and I keep it close to $100 as possible. And so we'll just write a title. The catchier it is, the better it's going to be. So um, we'll just say I'm asking for rulers. Um, let's just say I need some classroom rulers for my class. And you can just put a title and then save. You can always go back and make it a catchy title. And then you go shopping at eSchool Mail. And then you just continue. And let's see, you can either search here for rulers, but I'm going to go go ahead and go to Lakeshore. So you click in this. So as you can see, there's lots of different vendors that have a really good variety. And then just make sure that you allow pop-ups. And if it doesn't work, go ahead and just click. And I'll take you to a special page just for donors choose. And let's see, I'm just going to type in rulers. And it looks like they don't have rulers, but let's just say I want some of these centers. And like I said, I want to keep it as close to $100 as possible. So let's just say, and normally this is $130. I would normally keep it to 100 even or as close as I can get to. But since I'm just trying to show you guys how it works, I'm just going to do it this way. And then so check out. And once you hit check out, you're going to place order and it's going to take it back to donor's shoes. You don't have to put any credit card information in or anything. You're going to go to view cart and as you can see it's in here and you're going to check out. Complete order and submit. And then this is the breakdown. It'll say um, this project will cost one point and donors choose. This is why I say stay close to $100 because as you can see it was only $130 but after sales tax, processing fee, labor, um, and I don't know why it says optional donation to support donor shoes. That's really annoying. But um, it's not optional if you want to get it fully funded. So basically, my project is going to cost $200. So as you can see, it really quickly um, goes up. And then you have to be really specific when you're summarizing your cart because this is the first thing that people are going to see. So I'm going to say my students need math centers to... help them improve their basic math skills. And again, you can be more creative. I'm just doing it really quickly. And this is the grant part. So I'm just going to go over quickly what I wrote. You're going to open up with an introduction. Um, it can be 50 characters and it can go all the way up to about 300. And I just want to, I did the bare minimum. Now you're really going to want to take time when you're writing this because donors are going through and they're spending their hard-earned money to support your classroom so you just don't want to be like I want these give it to me now you want to inspire them so like I said this is the bare minimum I wouldn't write a project this short but it I just wanted to show you how easy it really is to do it so I just said some people are really great at math others struggle with it this is the part where you tell about your students my students are second graders in a high SES area. They love math. This year alone, they have made improvement by 13% on their math benchmark test. I try to keep my students encouraged by participating in math centers. They love working on centers. This is basically an area where you want your donors to get to know your students without revealing too much information. Like, you don't want to tell them where you live or any of your students' names. But you want them to know that they're donating to a real classroom and not just random person. 
this is what you're where you're going to put what you're going to use and what you're asking for. I'm asking for math centers. These math centers will be used in the classroom during math time. Some students will be working in small groups with myself. Other students will be working on their own. I will use these math centers to teach new concepts and review old ones. And then finally, you're going to close with thanking them and just kind of inspiring them and just encouraging them to donate to your project. So I wrote, with your donation, you can help my students become proficient in math. They will not only improve their math skills, that says schools, skills, but they will also have fun while doing it. Thank you for supporting schools. Um, or I can put our schools. And then you can put save. And then you're going to go ahead and do spell check. And then you're going to pick what subject area. So I'm asking for in maths and it's other. And this is the next page you're going to show which grade you're doing. Now normally I just click this but sometimes it doesn't go through so I click that um, circle and then I uncheck that and I have 25 students and then what I like to do is if you need a certain project by a certain time and if you get it late you won't use it pick a date but um, I normally just keep my project on the site as long as I can which is five months so save and confirm you're gonna go ahead and read through it. As you can see, it's a very, very, very short um, grant. And basically, this is what they see, and then you would hit submit, but um, I'm not actually going to be submitting this. Um, but if you wanna go back to create your title, obviously I'm not asking for rulers, math centers. If you go to your main page, it'll show your project drafts. Um, I'm just going to remove it because I am not going to going to post that project. But normally, once they're going to be reviewed, um, it'll take a few days to put it live on the site, and then it'll be under live projects. Um, the thing about Donors Choose is that it takes um, a while for sometimes on certain projects, and I have to tell you that there's a lot of projects that have not been funded, and unfortunately, you don't get those points back. But um, as you can see, this is one of my longer grants, but as you can see, it's not even that long. So it's not really hard at all to um, do Jonah's Choose, and I believe it's worth it. It only takes about 30 minutes tops to get a project from beginning to end, and I just... I couldn't imagine teaching without donors choose. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at darlinglittlelearners at gmail.com. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have about donors choose. I know it's a lot of information to fit into one video, and if you want me to go into more details on certain things, I'd be more than happy to do that for you. So until next time, happy teaching. Bye, guys.